when they found him and they found the business of all right and sources came in reporting him in. Anyway, with the being said, I just wanted to put that out there and stuff like that. You know, I've told you girls countless times that it's not really the stranger on the street, it's actually one of your boyfriends. And you know I you know, I don't try to tell you too many things that I you know, even the girls, you know, my sisters that are, you know, I talk to you all on the phone and I tell you I don't like giving you, you know, this information because I am one thing we all know and that is a jaded, bitter bitch. And the thing about it is that I just don't I'm not a man fan. I'm not saying that I won't be one in time, but it's just not right now. Because I don't like the outcomes of my sisters being murdered. And then you walk away and you just kill us. You know, and, and that's how the story keeps ending up. It's always, and it's weird because it's supposed to be, in my mind, it's supposed to be someone that we don't know. And it's always a man that we trust. You know, but he's 18 years old. And it was a man's side. Um... I wanted you girls to make sure, and I always try to let you know this information. I do not like reporting this, but I feel as though if I don't tell you, then maybe you won't know. And I feel so, as me being your big sis, I feel as I need to always keep you informed. Whether you listen to me or not, you can't say you didn't know. Anyway, the man said, there was an internet sensation of a couple that was married, uh, believe in Atlanta. They was very, very gorgeous. One name is Cordell, and the other one name was Kate Lou. In case you don't know, I'm going to give you a picture of them right now. This is them. Okay, you see them? Now you may say, well, I don't really know them, Raven, so I'm going to let you see the picture that went viral that everyone was talking about. Okay, here it is. Okay, you see that? Allegedly, they are breaking up and they decide they're not going to long be together. And the light skin with the bald head, let me show you his picture once more time, because you forgot. Here he is. Okay. He left a statement, allegedly. You know, they have three kids and stuff like that, but allegedly, he left the statement. You should never have a question to your worth or compromise your morals when you're with your soulmate. So I'm going to have that. And he said, I still love him. And that's the bowhead one. I don't know what happened that made him say, that, you know, that he wants to compromise, that he, sh that he shouldn't have to compromise their relationship and stuff like that. I know you're saying, well, one of us to cheat and stuff like that. We don't know. You could draw your own conclusions because you're going to do that anyway. You know, it's really sad because I kind of root for that. You know, I root for the relationship to work. You know, it has nothing to do with me. It is not my business because it's between those two parties. You know, in my mind, I always wanted to work. You know, it, it helps me believe that there is someone out there that can actually be there for me. I know it's not my business. I know I'm taking it personal because it has nothing to do with me. Anyway, I want to show you a picture of them in the beginning when they were, um, you know, they have a house together and stuff like that. They actually have a house together. I like to see how that's going to turn out. Are they going to um, just stay in the house together or just going to, what's going to leave, what's going to stay? Anyway, I want to show you of them at that time when they was in love. Look at this. Okay. Cornell. Cornell and Caleb. <laughs> uh, we would like to wish all our supporters and people who's watching them. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving 2013. As you know, we randomly post videos on our YouTube channel. Um, and I am thankful for, of course, the man upstairs, our kids. Um, the fact that, you know, I have a great family who loves us and who also support us. I'm thankful for everything. My list can be continuous, but I, I can't sit here and go through everything that I'm thankful for because I am thankful for really everything and not to sound really cliche, cliche but I'm, I mean, my family, my kids, the house that we live in, the cars that we drive, the clothes that we have, the job that I have. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. We're blessed, and it's just, it's just a, it's a good thing, man. And, you know, I always thank, thank God about for what He blessed me with, what we, what we, what we've been blessed with. So, thank you, YouTube, for um, tuning in and who's all watching. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <sighs> that's what I want. I want someone to love me like that, but I don't, you know, it, it doesn't help me with the outcome, you know, that they're breaking up. You know, I understand that in relationships and stuff, like things go to the left, and sometimes things don't always go the way we want, but I kind of wish they would work it out, you know, nothing is 100%. You know, and I like to live by, I like to live in my mind through couples that are happy, you know, or different, it's not always working out, but you fight to fight for that love, you know, and go to counseling, whatever you need to do to make it work, but Allegedly, they're leaving each other alone. In no shade, but everybody's after the ball head one.
Hey Lou, honey, they're after him big time, honey, so I don't know. That's what it is, but that's how relationships are, so let's just hope for the best and keep in mind blessings and think about together, but this is my opinion. You don't have to. And um, we got the killer of our sisters, India. Um, may she rest in peace. Anyway, that being said, tell me how you feel about this. Tell me how you feel about the death of your sister and how you feel about another couple that didn't make it. Anyway, that being said, I wanted to put that out there and I want you to have a safe weekend and I want you to always watch that man you bring home because that means you're the man to take you out. I'm dead serious. I know I'm saying with a smile because mother does a little, mother does ubalatu because mother has meats and juices need to be fed as well, honey, but I'd rather live a long time and be lonely than be laying next to my killer. I'm just saying. Just always keep that in mind. It is what it is. I'm not a jaded bitter bitch. I'm just a jaded bitter bitch. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I want to say hello other people. Boom. I want to say oh people fam. And if you subscribe, I want you to do you. I want you to do the best with it you can. And if nobody like it, then fuck them. All right.